أحمدنا محمودنا نبينا طبيبنا مغيثنا شفيعنا شمس البكاء أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اخدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذين أنعمت عليهم قير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين عامين اللهم سل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد سابق اللوامه أنواره من السماوات صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أرض الرمال وعدد النجوم السماء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته And today إن شاء الله ربي I will talk about طريقة plural in Arabic طرق and طريق mean a way a shame a sirat a direction and why you mean a road a sirat in a direction because it's a short road to the destination for those who love them Lord abundantly and want to get very fast to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of there is too many temptation around us in this world some people have decided to give up the world to divorce the world to keep distance from the world a dunya and then they will look for a shortcut, a fast direction to reach to Allah and to be protected from shaitan and all the people who create mischief in the earth. And the short road is nothing except is the road Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have shown to the companions in Mecca al-Mukarama in Medina al-Munawara. Ahmadunna, Mahmudunna, Nabiyunna, Tabibunna, Mughithunna, Shafi'unna, Shamsu al-Huda. Can you imagine a word without guide? Can you imagine a word without teachers? Can you imagine a word without shuyukh? Can you imagine a word which are those who remind you about God, Allah Azza wa Jalla? Can you imagine a word without advisor? Can you imagine a word without those whose life is so sweet that their action, character and love have inspired and transformed so many lives in wherever they went? This love, who the fragrance of it is so sweet have made that whatever this flagrance pass with a beautiful guidance the expression of the love of Allah shan take everywhere you go those are the people who them heart is polished and polished until everybody who made them will want to stay with them because of them character them word them face them knowledge and wisdom Allah has best of on them transform the people who sit with them and those people are those who know the shortcut and wherever you see them you sit down with them because indeed those people will show you the way to God and you look like you're traveling while the people traveling with in a bike you're traveling in a plane that's the difference of those people who have not chosen to have a guide and those people who are arrogant and those people who are proud and those people who are arrogant jail they are so proud that they say they able to make it and indeed they do not able to make it then pride and arrogance will lead them to a very bad destination and that was the arrogance of pharaoh because he was wealthy and he was a pharaoh that was the arrogance of Nimrod 
that he refused to listen to Ibrahim because he was a king. That was the arrogance of so many people in the world. They have lost everything for the hereafter because their pride have not allowed them to recognize the guide to in a shortcut to Allah Azza wa Jalla. Of course, many of them even do not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that indeed is a very bad ruin. And tariqa come from the Quran. It's only the Quran is understood in different way. If you go to Surah Nasr, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفطر ورأيت الناس يدقلون في دين الله عفواجا فسبق بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا صدق الله العظيم in this surat the help of Allah and this is the last surat who have been descended to the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم as a wool before he departs from this world last surat as a wool descended to the messenger of Allah Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم was surat to Nasr at the same time this surat is announcing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to depart from this world because his time is over, he have done his work. And then when you see the people entering in mass in the religion of Allah, that means that Allah's help and assistance have come. And then, then Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's mission is accomplished. And the second part of the, the surah is telling that, is, is telling us that many, many people will will enter in in this deen of uh, islam the, the religion of clear religion of allah because muhammad sallallahu have delivered properly the message and in the surat allah also is telling us that and uh, what left to do now the mission is accomplished there will be no new revelation we're going to come you what all they ask you to do now is to make sure that there is a way, a system of being alive and connected to Allah. And that is indeed the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jalla. That will keep you in Sirat al-Mustaqim. And, and Allah Azza wa Jalla says, فَاسْتَبِّخْ بِهَمْدِ رَبِّكَ فَاسْتَبِّخْ You all, all of us say, subhanAllah, but not enough. We may, some say it ten times, some say it, uh, uh, 33 times in after prayer and some now even say that they very fast to get up from where they sit down the remembrance of Allah have no value for them because of them ignorance or them arrogance or the chasing the word so much that they never have a minute to sit down and remember Allah and here the Quran Allah they command us it is, remember, is the last whole Quran descended by Allah Azza wa Jalla. Meaning, this is the last advice Allah is giving to the believers inside this beautiful book called Al Quran Al Kareem. And this book also is named as Zikr because it, it reminds the people what they have done. And make sure you understand anybody who remind the book of Allah Azza wa Jalla who, who have to be thanked. Uh, because that they reminded you what Allah Jalla wanted you to be, to keep in mind and to never forget. So, فَسَبِّقْ from تَبِّقُ فَسَبِّقْ from Subhan. You're saying Subhanallah فَسَبِّقْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ Subhanallah فَسَبِّقْ Chant the hymn of your Lord. Bihamdi Rabbika. Praise and thank Allah. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Walhamdulillah, Walhamdulillah, Walhamdulillah. 
here Allah Azawajalla is not telling you to say one time subhanallah he need to tell you to say one time alhamdulillah this is Allah Azawajalla is commanding you that if you hold to this this is indeed the part of salvation because this is the remembrance of Allah Azawajalla fasabiq subhanallah fasabiq bihamdi rabbika the 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 the, the, nihma, the blessings of of Allah Azawajalla need to be reminded to yourself and to order. Walhamdulillah. Wasabiq bi'amni rabbika wastaqfir and istighfar and he says Subhanallah walhamdulillah and astaghfirullah. Wasabiq bi'amni rabbika wastaqfir you say glorify Allah Azawajalla you thanks and praise Allah Azza wa Jalla. You ask forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Innahu kana tawaba. Innahu kana tawaba. And Allah Azza wa Jalla says, and when you ask me for forgiveness, you need to repent. You have to uh, return to Allah Azza wa Jalla now that you have asked for forgiveness. And when you repent, return to Allah the rest of your life all what you're going to need is to do what Allah Azawajalla want run away far from sin and repent and thank and glorify Allah Azawajalla every day every morning and every every evening Allah Azawajalla here is directing you to an abundant zikr and you read this surat every day every day every time anyway but this is what Allah Azawajalla remind you Muhammad sallallahu alaihi will depart from this world and what indeed he's going to live for you is the kitab Allah and his sunnah so fasabiq bihamdi rabbika wastaghfiruhu innahu kana tawaba innahu kana tawaba you need to repent and when somebody repent and somebody ask Allah Azawajalla to forgive him he, what left for him is any time he is chanting the hymn and praise of Allah Azawajalla and that is all what have brought Sufism these people who sit down every day and night and remembering Allah and looking the, to be close to Allah and finding the pleasure of Allah Azawajalla and when that have happened to them and the people now begin to talk about that what these people are doing uh, every day what is the occupation they why they are is still here where is the love of Allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam without the people of the heart the expression of the love of Allah have to be manifest on the peoples and them doing the love of Allah and uh, is to uh, to make sure that you celebrate you Lord, the morning and evening. We're gonna go to inshallah to Surah Tukar and we're gonna read the verse to able to illustrate what we're saying. Where is the love of Allah Azawajalla and His Messenger without the people of the heart? Call the people of remembrance, call the Muhsin, Muhsinin, call the, the Sufi. Listen to the Quran in Surah Tukaf in the verse 18, the verse, the Surah 18, Surah Tukaf and the verse, the, the Surah, the verse 28. You need to pick up your Quran and open and meditate in this beautiful verse. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, "A'uzu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim." Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. وَاسْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْقَضَاةِ وَالْعَشِيِّ يُرِيدُونَ وَجْعَهُ وَلَا طَدُوا عَيْنَكَ عَيْنَكَ أَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِنَّةَ الْعَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا تُتِمَنْ أَغْفَلْنَا قَلْبَهُ and zikrina wadabaha hawahu wa kana amrun furuta sadakhallahu alazim sadakhallahu alazim this is a beautiful verse in the quran who immediately indeed show you that the people of remembrance are the people 
of truth, the people of remembrance are was, were love and will be still loved by Allah because here Allah is talking to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and he's telling, he's he, he, he warning him about these people of zikr, about these people. He says, nobody can hurt them. Let me read the translation in English here. And, and keep yourself steadfastly patient by keeping company with those who call upon their Lord in the morning and the evening. What the people do in Tariqa is to call them Lord, they do them word, and the word is from the Quran in the morning, Sabaan wa Masaan, and they call them Lord in the evening before they go to bed. Even though they pray five times a day, even though they keep fast in Ramadan, even though they give zakat, even though they go to Hajj, that is the pillar of Islam. We do understand that. But yet, still, they are searching the pleasure of them, Lord. And Allah, Azza wa Jalla, He says that. He says all what they do, because those, the fault of them is they, they calling upon them, Lord, in the morning and the evening, and you desiring only the face of Allah, Azza wa Jalla. And you blaming them by doing that? So why go walk? Why are you doing zikr? Why not? They walk, but at the same time, they want to be closer, faster to God. And this is what those people who Allah Azza wa Jalla have unfold the Quran for, these are the people who Allah have inspired. So they uh, uh, created this tariqah who are not sex. Again, I need to repeat it properly. Many people, they say, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi says, our ummah will be divided in 72 sex and one enter paradise and the 71 go to hellfire. And do not be misled by these people who have not understood the, the, even the hadith. The Prophet Sallallahu is not talking about the people of Tariqah. The people of Tariqah are not... Sex Tariqah is a method, is a way to travel faster to Allah Azza wa Jalla, but it have never been a sect. A sect is the people who have taken away the, 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 the teaching of Al-Islam, who says they pray only in the morning and the evening they don't want to pray Salat to Zuri and as they pray Fajr and Isha. A sect is the people who have said that there is prophets who have come after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A sect is those people who says they no believe in hadith, they only read the Quran. These are what they call sects. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talk about. The, the people, the a sect is the people who says that anywhere they pray, they no need to look for the Qibla. Anywhere they face in pray, they, they make them pray. A sect is the people who say they have too much work to do and they gonna pray, all them pray every Sunday to Sunday, they make Salat. These are the people of sex, but, they, they, but this is not the people of Tariqah. The people of Tariqah pray five times a day. The people of Tariqah who go to Hajj. The people of Tariqah keep fast in Shahr Ramadan. The people of Tariqah uh, read the Quran. The people of Tariqah pay zakat. The people of Tariqah do all what Allah have commanded to do and they follow the son of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Oh you fear Allah by because this is not your way then you want to command the, the best people who have ever lived in this planet earth and I think please go back to your Quran go to the Surat 18 and look read properly take your time to read the verse 28 and you will understand what we were saying I repeat it again and keep yourself steadfastly patient by keeping company with those who call upon their Lord in the morning and the evening. Only what they desire, those people who call them Lord in the morning and the evening, uh, 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 is seeking, desiring the face of Allah. And do not let your eye pass beyond them. Allahu Akbar. In desiring Adon men of this worldly life, and do not obey any of the all of the one whose heart we have made heedless of our remembrance. The people whose heart is dry, who is sick, is well, is locked, they do not want the people of remembrance. Because remembrance even disturb them in state because they don't understand what it is, because they don't have a heart, sensible heart, to able to capture the word of zikr and to, uh, to enjoy zikr. So that make that zikr even disturb them, even if you're calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala name. And, 
And do, it says, Allah says, we have made it less of our remembrance. And who follow his own desire and those and whose affair is an abundant man of what is good and true. You see, remembering Allah morning and evening become a, a true thing. It's a good tree, but they abandon that because their heart is sealed. They know they that disturb them because their heart have no sensibility to, to able to capture the sweetness of remembrance of Zikrullah. Who uh, 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 among you do not like to hear a group of people sit, sitting and, see, and, and chanting the praise of Allah Azza wa Jalla? After they taslim salat, when they say salawat, the people get up and go say this is a bidah, why they do that? You know that you already know that a disease is in your heart. Who are the people who when they meet a group of people sit down and celebrating the praise of them Lord Subhanallah Walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah Wallahu Akbar They get up and leave they say these are the people of Bida Do you know that your heart is well and you know understand that? Read the Quran back go please to Surah Al-Kaf uh, Surah 18 and read the verse 28 and indeed you will understand what I was telling you that I thank you very much for that and probably to introduce to you that I belong to the Tariqat al Mustawawiya and the Tariqat al Mustawawiya have been given to a uh, Sheikh, uh, a Sheikh from uh, the country of Senegal in West Africa. He born in the city of Chess and his father also was a great alim, very well known in Senegal. He's called Sheikh Samba Gay or Sheikh Saib Gay Haidar. And Sheikh Samba Gay is uh, the father of Sheikh Muhammad al Mustafa. And Sheikh Muhammad al Mustafa have received Salatul Samawiya from the Prophet in the 27th Rabi al Awal in the month when the Prophet is born in 1950. And since then, the, the Sheikh have carried the Tariqat al Mustafa. Allah, al Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and indeed the Tariqa is almost the youngest in Africa or in the world because the Sheikh, Sheikh Mustafa Radlan, who is born in 1926 and he lived the world in 1989. He was 63 years when he lived this world to return to his law. Uh, Sheikh Muhammad Al Mustafa is uh, his, his father, is my grandfather, and Sheikh Muhammad Al Mustafa is the uh, brother of my mother uh, Khadija Kobra Rad Allah and her make Allah let them with them father and all the believers rest in peace in Al Barzakh and he give them paradise for the amazing world. The father of Shah Mustafa Sambagay have teach the Quran and fiqh and Lukatul Arabia and Hadith to more, more than thousand in the, the city of Chess and is a well-known uh, Sheikh uh, Alim in Chess that all the country of Senegal indeed know and this was the father of Sheikh Muhammad al Mustafa. My name is Sheikh Harun al Fakir. I um, I immigrated to the United States in 17 years and uh, I teach Al Quran al Kareem. I live in the city of Mouse Corner in South Carolina and I have a community of Fakfakarao uh, uh, who live there with me. And indeed, uh, these are the people of Zikr. You are invited to visit the city of Mouse Corner. You will really love to be with the people of Zikr, the people of love, and the Fakara who all what they love is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this Tariqat al Mustafawiyah, I can give you a little bit of uh, the understanding of this uh, of this uh, uh, word. Muhammadin Warduna Wallahi. By Allah, the Sheikh said, Sheikh Mustafa, our word is one of the word who come from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Man qala za amnun lehun billahi. Whoever is it, it will be praised by Allah. Wa zikruna fi kulli zikrin qa'im. Our zikr, this our word, is stand, stand from, on, with all the word who have been given. Allah, Allah, Rabbin al Azim al Da'ima. Allah, Allah, our Lord is the manifestation, the perpetual. Wa fadlu ma yubayyinu muqtari. This is a grace that has been clarified by Al Muqtar, the chosen. This word, Shah Mustafa say, when I have received it, it was clarified by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
say Khajad bil anwari wal abrari. This word bring light and righteousness to for the people who get this word. Most mustaq ridan li kulli baharin nuri. It it transverse all seas of light and totally surrounded by light. Kamilatan aitatan bi nuri is a complete word. Uh, and light, uh, a complete light. Everything of it in in it is like in this world. وَهَذِهِ كُلِّ يَطُنْ لِكُلِّ This word is completeness for everyone who have missed anything of of a thing he was pursuing. When you take this word, it complete whatever missing in what you're looking for. Man فَتَهُ الْكُلِّ لِبَعْدِ الْكُلِّ Because all things are missing something. And it will be be found in this word. It is the all of the all. Wa kulli man lahul anwar usari and whatever light advent of our perfecting you. Make sure you know that when you have this word, that is what going to happen to you. Fa inna min qabdi adal bari. Indeed, by Allah, it is because of this overflowing, overflowing merit of this righteous word. This phenomenal and amazing blessed word. Wa kulli walin wa silin fil wasli. The Sheikh here is talking about his maqam. It says for every wali of Allah, a friend of Allah, trying to reach the destination, the destination fana and baka. He say nahnu lehum aslun wa sil silun fil wasli. He say ah me Sheikh Mustafa, I am the source for him and the link in the chain for. To, to reach the destination. Meaning, anybody who going to Allah Azza wa Jalla, you lost in the road, who slow to get to the to the way, you don't know no more the way, you, you Shaykh Mustafa says, and you are already been a friend of Allah Azza wa Jalla, he says, but uh, you can, I can take you very fast to the place where you are going. In Ayatu Rahmani Jalla wa Sal, with the divine providence of Ar-Rahman, it is a majestic arrival when you arrive to the Lord, uh, when you follow Shah Muhammad al-Mustafa word. This word will act on your behalf by Allah's grace in the realm of eternity, since uh, no next no starting point of eternity. وَكْسِفْ مَا نَرَوْنَهُمْ مِنْ فَانِي Everywhere in the way to the destination is enveloped for us so we can see the station of arrival fana when لَيْسَ كَانَ فِي شَانِهِ مِنْ جَانِي لَيْسَ كَمَنْ فِي شَانِهِ مِنْ جَانِي لَيْسَ كَمَنْ فِي شَانِهِ مِنْ جَانِي The Sheikh say, my beloved, listen now, but this is not to get in in with insanity it will take you sound to allah you you rest with him with Shaykh mustafa in a sound way in a sound mind in a sound heart you will reach to your destination everything we see by the way of cash, Allah will unfold, unveil everything. Min Maliki Mughtil Manan in Nafi is from the king, the bestow of the grantor of benef the benefactor, Allah Azza wa Jalla. It is to say, I am a dependent to the Lord. He chosen to He chose to elevate me and to and I will show the people the way to destination. We have all been assisted with 70 helpful angels in whatever we wanted to do. Allah has given that to the people of the Mustafa And from the king, every assistance will come from him and he have given, giving me that assistance. This is so you gain total victory with the entrance table one. The one no one can deny Sayyidul Qalahi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Any other awlul mahluh Sayyidina Muhammad is the one who if you want he will escort you then you reach to the destinations very quickly. As we ascended to the lofty place, place with companion, 
far or near. The Sheikh says, when, no matter where you are, if you become his companion, wherever you are living, inshallah, Rabbi, you will follow, go with him until to destination. Far or near, who, whatever the way be, uh, uh, you will, inshallah, Rabbi, arrive to the messenger of Allah Azza wa Jalla. وَجَدَّا بِالْمُعِينِ كُلِّ وَاهِدِ Each angel helping us and even help from other than angel provide by our Lord. مُلْكًا وَجُدًّا بِرَفْقِ مَا جِدِّ And offering to us help but also excellent companionship. وَنَجْلَى لِمَقْعَامَ كُلِّ نَافِ We will appear at the maqam of every benefactor very quick, inshallah, and take those goodness in that maqam and continue our journey to Allah. فِي إِلَغْزَةِ مِنْ عَلْفِ آمِ رَافِعِ And immediately will be propulsed again with this Mustafa we had sent to a distance of a thousand years in one instance, Allahu Akbar. And he says, وَالْعَمْرُ لِلْإِلَّهِ الْزَابِقِ The amazing divine matter supersedes. It is so complex and difficult to understand how these people can uh, show, take the people to their destination because Allah Azawajal have chosen them and nothing cannot make, they will not able to reach there. And تَبْقَى الْجِيَادِ لِلْبَغَالِ رَبِيقِ He has surpassed all the people with the word of all the word and the truth. You're able to run so fast to your Lord and the people will deny that. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa tasliman kathiran yawmideen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirat hasana wa qina azab al-nar. سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته